What is up, everyone? Adam here, and today we are going to do a one wheel shred series on one wheel GT featuring the flat kick foot pads. Let's go. I am st stoked for this ride. This is my first time riding off road on these foot pads, and uh, you know, just wanted to see how they felt go for a rip also if you've been around the channel for a bit especially within the last year it's been over a year since i put out the first ever long form trail ride of the one wheel gt right after we launched it and uh, that video did really well obviously being the first video but uh, received so much positive feedback from it I thought, well, maybe it's time for a reunion video. Maybe we uh, just need to put something out there and uh, go for a little rip on the GT. It's been a year since I, I, I've pretty much been riding this board for over a year now. And uh, yeah, let's do it. So uh, beautiful, beautiful day out this morning and just kind of getting a feel for these pads, uh, I will say. Personally, I am a concave foot pad person. Uh, on the GT, I love the rock in the front concave with the love hump in the rear, specifically when I'm riding trails, riding off road. I think the love hump gives me the most control, especially in uh, tight situations and berms and such. Um, but I think just a you know general thought, I think for those that do like flat foot pads, for those that do have bigger feet, they're gonna you're gonna love these foot pads because ultimately the platform feels much bigger and wider and uh kind of gives you that og one wheel feel um with a kick to it kind of a little spice with a kick uh but yeah oh man a year on one wheel gt what a year it's been folks um we're gonna stick to riding and riding thoughts and positivity in this one so uh, yeah, it, it, it's been, it's been a, it's been a ride, you know, I think when you have something new, uh, that comes out, it's always going to be met with, uh, questions it's, and people are not immediately going to adopt the, the new thing because they're so comfortable and they love their their old thing so in this this context i would be talking about the xr um, i think it has taken a lot of people to get a lot of time to get used to uh riding the gt between the the different platform the different the difference in power and torque uh the tire how how it feels in every which situation um everything that goes into riding a board um, it was really interesting to see right off the bat, you know, how people felt about it. And I always told people, you know, you might not like something right away. I think because it's different, uh, there's immediately this like, mm, I'm, I could do better things on my other board. And you have to think about the ideology of calling one board better than another board when you've ridden probably a hundred X more miles than, uh, than the GT. There were people that had only ridden the GT like a hundred miles into a few months of getting theirs and been like, yeah, my XR is way better. And I thought, you know, I can never make that judgment based off of not had it having ridden a similar amount of mileage or a significant amount of mileage. Um, I do the same thing with everything. Like these shoes are brand new. Uh, I can't compare them yet. And I won't compare them to other riding shoes that I have until I wear them in. I put some serious miles on these things. And I think that's how all new things should go. You know, you can't just go off of a, 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 a short performance and figure out, if you like something better than the other, it takes time. Things take time, uh, to get used to it. But overall I have been super stoked on the one wheel GT in the past year. 
we've put out some awesome firmware updates and um, worked with some of the best writers in the world to kind of fine tune some of the, the, the things that some writers wanted and felt could be improved. We brought in some amazing folks like the Silvas and Neil Bennett, Bodie Harrison, um, just to name a few. And they've all had significant input on, on some of the firmware and it's been great. And I, I've loved having that collaboration amongst some of the, the top riders in the community and had a part to play in that. You know, I love those folks and, and they are really good at riding one wheels and, uh, we take their input very seriously and, um, I'm loving where the GT's at right now for me, you know, it's a great board. Uh, in the context of my riding, I, I don't particularly ride trails all the time, mostly in the summertime and the springtime. So this ride is actually a bit of a barn burner for me, especially you can see, look at this freaking trail. It's just jitter town, chunk town. It's all washboard, gopher holes, rocks. This tra trail particularly is <laughs> like, it's a multi-use trail, but it's a horse trail. So the horse trails get pretty banged up. Um, so I'm rocking in, I want to say 13 PSI, got the new shoes, got the flat kick foot pads. Definitely throughout this ride, I, I feel a little bit of uh, leg burning, a little, little out of trail shape, let's just say. But yeah, wanted to take these puppies for a spin and uh, just give everybody out there, you know, a little visual of what the board looks like with them on there what it looks like when you're riding with them on and uh you know ultimately to to you can only do so much and say so much if you're just watching a video so uh i'd go out there get a pair and throw them on make your own judgments but like i said i think a lot of people are going to like these people have been asking for flat put pads for a while for gt and uh this is what we got so hope you all enjoy Thanks for tuning in. And yeah, I just think, uh, I think overall the shred series, you know, faded away a little bit in 2022, but I've been thinking about bringing it back, uh, trying to think about different trails that I could bring y'all on different folks that could record some rides, uh, you know, ride some pine X, ride some GT, maybe some pint. I don't know. But uh, definitely been wanting to rip some more trail series, and I felt like there's no better time than now, especially being that it's, it, it's I kind of want to celebrate that uh, a year of that video. And that's just a fun, that's just a little fun thing for me. Um, very fortunate, and, and I can't express enough gratitude of how lucky I am to be able to be in this position to film these rides for y'all and jibber jabber you know over it and you listen to me and um it's it's, it's fun y'all are great if you're watching this i hope you enjoy this i hope uh these types of videos are you know just videos that you enjoy watching and this is the first steep uphill uh this is the this is where it always like if you ride on flat ground like there's like those little things that you notice about GT compared to like an XR or whatever. But this is where you just, you go up something like this. It's just, it's a steep hill and it's, I wouldn't even call it super chunky. It's just loose rock everywhere. So it's not even a matter of torque or power. It's really a matter of traction and no amount of uh, tread is going to get you up this hill easily it is it's just all over the place and i think that's when you really start to realize how in in a performance mindset how much better the gt is than the xr um going up hills is just like it blows my mind still i remember how stoked i was when i went up the first steep hill and I was like going like 17, 18 miles an hour up a 20% gradient hill with momentum. But like, there are just things that I, I, 
I go up on the GT that I'm like, dude, I'd never be able to get that on an XR with that type of a momentum and ease. Um, so it, it's kind of like a nice, like refreshing thing to, to know that's like where we're at is we have this power and torque to make it up some hills. Uh, this is an uphill all the rest of the way until we essentially loop it to go back down on the single track. And it's like, oh, it's, I always think this trail is going to be better than it is. And to be honest, it's kind of a burner just going uphill because there's all these little divots and, um, washboard parts and the trail gets washed out, like going uphill at certain points. So then on your horizontal axis, your ankles are like, you it's just all about stability and you can't really take your eyes off the trail too much, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And, um, yeah, it's just a little, a little crazy there. But, uh, for all those that are wondering, I'm filming that filming this on a GoPro hero 10 with the max lens mod. And I originally would like normally I would record this type of ride with a GoPro three max, 360, 360 max. So I have more flexibility in post because when you're riding, it's like so hard to keep the camera in the same position the whole time, especially when you're going through some difficult sections that require more attention and focus and balance. And you start waving the camera all over the place. You'll see it. Like I smack the camera like three times in this video. And what's hard is like when you want to keep going, if you don't stop, you got to make sure that the camera didn't like one break the lens or anything. It's still recording and that the angle is still there for what you're trying to shoot. So, uh, I was, I'm pretty pleased with this little like hero 10 setup that I got going on. It's, it, it's a little bit heavier than just a normal GoPro, but I think it looks better and it gets, still gives you that wide angle and, um, it has the horizon lock settings. It's really cool. So if you're looking for the camera to go out and shoot one wheeling, I'd look into actually the Insta 360 cameras, the new um, 360 cameras there they came out with. But if you are a GoPro fan person, Hero 10 Max Lens Mod, that'll treat you right. Get a nice selfie stick and um, go out and film some riding, film some shredding. So, yeah, we're just cooking it up this hill. Um, I'll tell you what, going for trail rides in new shoes, it's tough. Uh, you know, they're super stiff. So you're kind of like battling the form of the shoe and the stiffness. And uh, yeah, that's, I, I felt it immediately on this ride. Um, I also, think that I'm just super used to concave foot pads. So now having a flat platform, I was moving my feet around way more and uh, that helped alleviate some foot fatigue, but also um, trying to find where my best foot placement is on these pads particularly. Cause you'll notice that the front and the back have a kick to it. And um, it's pretty similar to the one wheel GT high kick concave foot pad. So, uh, just with a flat platform. So yeah, it just, it takes, it took me a little bit getting used to. And, um, overall it's just great to get on the trails. It's been a while and you know, most of the time I'm on these trails, I'm running or riding my mountain bike or gravel bike. And, uh, what a perfect day I chose to get out there. And uh, hopefully this inspires you to just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to press pause, like, and subscribe this video, but I'm going to go out and ride my one wheel now. And if you don't have a one wheel, then you're probably, you should probably take advantage and uh, go to the website and, and check it out. But yeah, I'm loving the trail now. It's smoothed out a little bit, but overall rough ride for me uh just because we fortunately got a lot of rain in the last few month, couple months i would say so it's all packed down but there's there's those little runoffs and they kind of keep you on your toes but um 
Yeah, in terms of shred series, you know, I mentioned we haven't really put out that many this year, and to me, it's it was always something fun to go off and do. I think really the hard part is just finding new trails. So visually, uh, as an audience, it's you know different scene scenic areas it makes it more enjoyable to watch. But if you enjoy these videos, like I, we'll put them out. I got we got people that will ride and put out these videos. I mean, hopefully it inspires y'all to put out some some content. I love it. Um, I think one of my favorite thing about doing these videos though is being able to travel around and meet folks that watch them and it's like whoa you watched me ride a one wheel on youtube that's amazing um i met this dude at an austin demo that drove like four plus hours or something from in the mid like we we're in austin which is like central texas and he was like four hours away and he spotted me from walking in the the venue where we were doing this demo tour spotted me and was like dude i watch your videos and i was like what and he's like yeah that one wheel gt full length ride i watched that i bought a gt after it and that is like i, I don't know how to explain that feeling but it was so amazing to connect with this individual that was inspired by just this video I threw up on our YouTube. And uh, I'm sure there's more people like that. And uh, I love it. I, I love that people see this stuff and they get inspired to ride because that's what it's all about is, is getting to know the feeling and the love that one wheel has and can provide for you in your life. Right here, I'm just always, always take a moment uh, to just Amazing. Take a couple of deep breaths. Look at the insane yeah. view. Yeah. Get stoked. Stoke. And uh, just feel, just just express my gratitude for being able to get out there and ride. Some more uh, shots of the the foot pads on the board. Yum yum yum. A little three sixty view there. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we hop back on got a couple mountain bikers coming up the trail so i just zip on down to another stopping point and then cut the video real quick you won't even notice it there i i did that fade on purpose that slow dissolve kind of reminds me of like old school video editing <laughs> but uh now we're on the single track heading on downhill and uh this is just pure fun uh I mean, you got to go out. You got to go out there and get and get it, and just go after it. Just freaking slap the camera again. Oh, double check. But I think in general, you know, this is one of those things where even if I wasn't filming, I, I would still do something like this. You know, it's getting out on the one wheel, especially for me in the morning, is such a such a way to start the day because it allows me to like doing trail riding is a little bit focus intensive and definitely you could feel it in the a little stabilizer muscles in your feet and your legs but it does such good for the mind and what i love about that is that it's so different than everything else that i do like if you know me you know i ride bikes a lot and i ride my bike most days or I'm out on a run and what the one wheel does is like it allows me not to have to exert an absurd amount of energy but still get that thrill and still get that excitement and still get into flow state and um, just provides me with a different feeling and uh, I love passing people on the trails it's like you have this like superpower and they're so intrigued they're like whoa you are you're a, a person on this thing, you know, like those, those hikers. U usually I stop for everybody that's coming up the trail, but they're like, like I could hear them on the switchback. They're like, Hey, come on, keep going. So that was super cool. And, um, you know, in general, I say, slow down, stop, dismount. If you have people coming up on you or coming behind you, 
uh, you know, one wheels, we always say it, they're at the bottom of the, of, of the list when it comes down to riding in parks and on trails. And we want to make a good name for ourselves, so always respect the other trail users and educate the trail users. Um, I had a couple of folks on horses the other day roll up on me, and they were just like, I don't want to say they were confused, but they were like, oh, like, are you, what are you doing out here? And it's like, oh, I'm just riding. I just ride this thing all over the place. And they're like, wow, we've never seen that before. That's so cool. And they had the, they're on their horses, and the guy's like asking me all the questions about it. Oh, how many, how many uh, miles does it get per charge? And I was like, oh, you know, could get up to 32. And it also has regenerative braking when I go down it. So I get, I charge the battery when I go down it. And he's like, whoa, I had no idea that these things even existed. And, um, you know, you, you, you tell them all the little stories of like, I travel from here, I ride from here to here. And they're like, whoa. That is just like, it is a superpower. I always tell my friends, I'm like, you know, if I have to ride a bike somewhere, I got to get on my bike. I got to pedal, probably going to sweat. And then I get to a place, my heart rate's really high. And I kind of like need a break for a second. Don't want anybody to talk to me when I ride the one wheel. I just go from here to there. I'm here and then I'm there. I told that to a friend. He's like, dude, I want one. I want to be from here to there. I don't want to have to work hard. (laughs) And I go, well, you know, it's going to take you some time. You got to, you got to get used to the board and learn the limits and and respect, uh, respect the board and you will, you'll get it and you will be able to go from here to there in no time. Uh, this part's pretty chill. Oh, this is good. This part coming up is really funny. I'll try to, uh, raise the levels on it and stop talking about it. <laughs> What's that? Like snowboarder on wheels. Heck yeah. Have a good ride guys. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> that stoked me up. He's like, you're it's you're like a snowboarder on a wheel. And it's like that's exactly what I am. Uh, I can only imagine, I've never seen it, but I can only imagine like coming up a trail and you could see this dude riding or just like floating down the top section of the switchback, but you can't see his legs. And then he just, you're like, wait, how is he even doing this? And then he turns the corner and you're like, oh, the dude's on a single tire. And, uh, that guy seems like he's never seen a one wheel in his life. So he's he was like, whoa. Um, yeah, just ripping down this section. Pretty pretty fun. Uh, gets to the off camber part down here, which is kind of tough. Honestly, it's for me, It's I, I feel a lot more locked in with the concave foot pads. As you can see, my back heel is lifting up. That's, I'm on my toes. So like, for me, how I ride, I like the love hump because it gives me a little bit more stability in my arch as I'm leaning all the way on my toes. Um, but again, different pads for different different types of riding. That's one thing that I, I, I think uh, people should think about more is, and I know it costs money to buy all these things, but it's, it's no different than any other board sport or sport. Um, if you do it a lot and you do it in different terrain and different scenarios, you're gonna want a different setup uh, if you take it seriously or if like that's your thing. Like I have a road bike for the road and then I have a gravel bike for mixed terrain riding and then the mountain bike for, you know, actually riding downhill trails and stuff. And even my gravel bike, I have several pairs of tires that I change out depending on the type of ride that I'm going to do. So I never expect one tire to be the one size fits all that's gonna do the best in all the scenarios. And I never expect like my shoes to to be the best in all scenarios. So I think it's like for me, I, I think for trail riding, I'm definitely sticking to my love hump. But if I was, if I'm just gonna go out and ride around the town, I would want the flat K 
kick foot pads because I don't want that love hump in my arch the whole time if I'm just kind of cruising around in a more relaxed uh, state. So again, that's my own personal thing. Um, I'm sure everybody's got different you know, feelings and how they ride, but uh, this part was super challenging. I was pretty tired. My legs were pretty tired here. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm out of trail shape. I'm out of season right now. I'm in the off season technically for trail riding. <laughs> uh, all the races are, are over and or for the most part a lot of the races are over and uh i don't have to keep up with people like neil bennett unless he comes to town and then i'm like hey let me lead you because <laughs> once you get in front of me oof uh i don't know if i keep up with you unless it was like middle of summer slap the camera once again just kind of like making sure that it's all good and but when this trail is dialed oh it's so nice because it's just like these ups and downs and for me it's all heel side like whoop turns and berms and oh, it just feels so good when it's all dialed um but a lot of a lot of washout a lot of breaking bumps and just like chatter in general and uh that just takes a toll on the legs for sure but ripping around almost done with this trail and overall, I mean, the, the flat foot pads love them for what they are. And I think a lot of people are going to love them because I know there's, there's a lot of flat patterns out there and, uh, Hey, I might not be a flat pattern, but I know people that are flat patterns. And if you watch the one wheel podcast, you'll know the founder and inventor of one wheel, Kyle is a flat patter. Uh, he, this, these are like, this is his, his, his thing. So, um, that's the cool thing about it is that we all have different riding styles and we all prefer something different. Um, I'm pretty stoked on that little ride again. It's been, it's my first trail ride, probably all fall. Maybe a couple times I went out with and Neil came down. We made that sweet little shred it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll put the link up top. The dude absolutely rips and makes one wheeling look like mountain biking, uh, which makes sense because he's an absolute shredder on the mountain bike. Shout out, Neil. But yeah, I'm just making my way back out of the trail and I don't think there's anything notable after this for me to talk about. But what I would invite you to do is just uh, continue watching till the end. Please go ahead, leave a comment below. Tell me, are you a concave or a flat patter? And also, um, just tell me, like, where's your favorite place to ride in the morning? Because I think I think morning rides. Here's here's a uh, unpopular opinion because I know a lot of people don't like waking up around Let's sunrise. Go. Uh, sunsets are overrated. <laughs> Here's my take on that is because I think anybody, sunsets are easy, right? Like sunsets are easy to watch. All you have to do is just wait for the sunset. But it takes a special mindset to wake up before the sun rises. And in most cases, you know, in your area of living, most people are not up. So you have all this time kind of by yourself and you get to see the start of a new day. And gosh, do I think that is the coolest thing ever. And it's hard, but it feels rewarding once you're up and you have a coffee. Right now it's like 40 degrees in the morning in Santa Cruz. I go out and just like that brisk ocean air. Um, I think there's nothing like a sunrise. And if you get on your one wheel and you go for a sunrise ride, I think you're winning. That's what I would say. Um, you're freaking winning. And here I just kind of start doing some small little little cars back and forth between the yellow things, kind of feeling the pads out a little bit more. Uh, kind of like stretching my feet. Oh, here we go. So this is what pushback looks like, folks. So I'm going to get to a point where I accelerate and the nose of the board lifts right there. Puts me in a position to slow down. 
right? I'm gonna accelerate and then pushback happens, push me in. It, it's almost effortless. Um, the board does the work for you. It, push, it puts you in a position to slow down. And in, in certain cases, you wanna slow down, dismount the board. But um, it's, it's something that I think is very crucial to, uh, to, to understand. Here we're just ripping back and forth. Um, and if that's about it, folks, you know, I was going to stop talking, but I kept talking. And now I'm definitely going to stop talking. Hey, thank you all for watching this ride. If you want more Shred Series, let us know in the comments. We'll get more up. Uh, all sorts of different accessories if you want to see what they look like when they're ridden. And uh, different boards, different riders. Let's go. And uh, get out there. Go for a ride. Hashtag let us ride, folks. You know what it's about. Spread the love. Keep shredding. Peace and positivity.